finally made it to Balduk, the prison city. Word is, it's home to the biggest slammer in the Roman territories. Even from out here, I can tell the city's huge. Look, Adel. There's a security checkpoint at the gates. Hmm. We just got here, Adel. Can't you go five minutes without leaping into trouble? Anyway, it'd be nice to catch some shut-eye in an actual bed for once. They say the garrison runs a tight ship throughout the city. What with the prison and all. Well, let's go see what's going on. Is this... Oh, I'm beat. I was hoping to unwind at the inn tonight. Did you hear? You mean about the Governor General? Yeah. Apparently it was the Monstrums. Huh. Who are you? Are you travelers? If you want to get into Balduke, we'll need to inspect your things. Security looks tight here. Did something happen? Huh. Guess you could say that. Some hoodlums calling themselves Monstrums have been plaguing Balduk. Monstrums? A certain dignitary has uh, recently gone missing. There's no doubt they're behind this. Those damn pests. Blast it all. I've only just been transferred here, too. Well, not sure if I follow, but it seems like a pretty big deal. Warden Belker. What? Are you sure? All right. Detain him. Okay, now that doesn't look like a warm welcome to me. You, with the red hair. You're the adventurer, Adol Kristen, are you not? just received a warrant for your arrest from the capital. A warrant? For Adel? What for? Yeah, with everything we've been through, it was only a matter of time. Then you understand. You returned from the cursed Isle of Saren. You were involved with the Atlas Ocean incident. And most recently, you were seen in Altago in the aftermath of the ceasefire. You are being arrested on the grounds of your suspicious involvement in these events. Ah, oh, would you look at that. We're bona fide celebrities. It'll be easier on all of us if you come quietly with me to the prison. Warden Belger. Oh, Chatelard. 
Got me at a bad time. It's just in the middle of an arrest. If it was this man here, allow me to take him in myself. Oh? But weren't you on patrol? Yes. However, we've just received word that Monstrums were sighted in the main square. Monstrums, you say? Those must be the guys he was talking about earlier. That's right. I was to report any Monstrum activity directly to you. Should have just said so from the start. My apologies. Shall I take it from here? Of course. I know you'll keep a close eye on him. I leave him to you, Chatelard. Troops, fall in! The primary garrison will shift their priorities to capturing the Monstrums. Today will be the day those pests will finally go where they belong. Baldu Prison! The one who captures them will receive a sizable bonus. Yes, sir! Now then, Mr. Adel Kristen. Um... Unfortunately, I'm not obligated to give you that answer. I am Shadowlord, Master and Commander of the Glean Hieroglyph Knights. Hieroglyph Knights? So, you must be part of the Hieroglyph Church. Why are you working with the Roman Empire? We operate in tandem for the sake of maintaining the order here in Baldur. Warden Belger is the one in charge of the garrison here. As his title suggests, he is also the warden of Balduke Prison. He will be the one to decide your fate. You will cooperate, one way or another. Battle! He's so fast. You are Dogi the Wall Crusher, are you not? I give you 30 points. You fail. What are you on about? Unlike Adol, you aren't wanted yet by the Roman Empire. And now, I can see why. You should be grateful I'm not taking you in, too. You son of a... Battle! As for you, 85 points. Collected even under duress, just as expected. So, you're finally awake, 217. Um... You don't remember? The Knights must have done a number on you. You're in a solitary cell, one of many in Balduk Prison. All inmates are assigned numbers. Yours is 217. You'd do well to remember it. <laughs> don't get too excited. You've just woken up in time for dinner. Come on, let's go. And no funny business, all right? Balduke Prison used to be a fortress. That's why it's got a complex layout. It's not just a soldier stationed here, but also the Roman army and the Hieroglyph Knights. You might as well give up any hope of escaping. Hmm. I don't have any obligation to tell you that. Listen, there are other inmates here, but speaking to each other is forbidden. Each of you have assigned seats. Yours is over there. Please, I, I, I beg you. Shut it and give me the food. I ain't about to go slave away in the mines on an empty stomach. Come on, help a guy out, will ya? Th 
That gives me just as much reason to eat as you. Fine. We'll do this the hard way. Ah. Why, you slippery little... What was that? What's going on over here? Inmates 163 and 212. You two again? Ah, I'm sorry. Relax, gentlemen. We were just having a little chat. Huh? 163, where's your fork? My what? Your fork. Where is it? God help you if I find out you're stealing cutlery. What the hell are you talking about? It's here on the table. Um, well, well I, was, I swear it was just here. Where'd it go? Sure it was. All right, come on, 163. Time for a body search. No. Wait, 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 wait. I haven't eaten anything yet. Ugh. You little shit. This was your doing, wasn't it? No. Dirty liar. Mark my words. I'll remember this. Take a left here. As I mentioned earlier, this prison used to be a fortress. Even the knights and us guards aren't familiar with some of the older underground sectors. Forget about being found if you get lost. May as well call it your tomb. Anyway, it hasn't even been a day, and you're already rocking the boat, 217. I'd recommend not making an enemy out of 163. <sighs> I heard you were going to be trouble, but still... Well... Take it from me. Nothing good will come out of being the hero. Just don't cause any more trouble, at least during my shift, alright? And especially not with her. Pardon me, ma'am. I've brought the inmate you requested. You're late. Preposterously late. What are you waiting for? Get in here! You will do as you are instructed. You're going to be asked some questions. I hope your answers are adequate for your sake. State your inmate ID. Um... So, you're the one I've been hearing so much about. <laughs> I didn't think you would be so flimsy looking. From one who calls himself an adventurer, I was expecting someone... more robust. Yes. You will speak only when I permit you to. For the past seven years, you have been engaging in adventures. You seem to have a habit of getting involved in remarkable phenomena. These events have been withheld from the public, but delusions can only explain so much. Magic, the Eldeen, alchemy, primordials. Preposterous, indeed. If you ask me, I'd say the rumors about you are quite inflated. Now, you will answer my questions truthfully and without reluctance. Do you understand? No. Hm. Good. There's nothing more preposterous than wasted words and time. First question, inmate 217. It seems that shipwrecks are a common occurrence for you. Even sailors and fishermen don't experience a fraction of the accidents you've been in. Some claim you instigated these incidents. What do you say to those accusations? Well... <sighs> Fortunately for you, no clear motives have been discerned given the circumstances. However, I won't dismiss the possibility that you were conspiring with the crew members. 
You've even happened upon legendary weapons and artifacts. But somehow you always lose them afterward. Another fraudulent scheme, perhaps? Your antics are a detriment to the national interests of our Roman territories. This is you. Come on, in you go. I'll check on you later. Hmm? It seems I have a neighbor. <laughs> Would be an excellent night for a stroll, if we could go for one. Could you come a little bit closer to the wall? <laughs> Wouldn't want the guards hearing us speaking to each other now, would we? That's much better. Listlessness nearly got the better of me after not having someone to talk with for so long. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> I figured as much seeing as you appear to be keeping yourself busy in there. Please excuse my curiosity. Anyway, my crime was, well, I suppose you could call it fraud. How about you? Well, <laughs> a veritable criminal is amongst us. Hmm, I believe I understand now. Are you here on false charges? In the past, the names and crimes of prisoners were publicly posted. But about five years ago, those postings were suddenly discontinued. Possibly because there's so many of us now. But something tells me there's more to it. Wait. Quiet. I must have lost track of time. It seems they're doing their rounds now. The guards patrol on a strict schedule. Don't do anything that'll get you caught during patrol hours. Now then, mornings come early here. <laughs> Best that you get some rest. That's all I need to hear about the Canaan Islands. The ancient machine that controls the weather, the Ark of Napishtim. I find it difficult to believe that a thing out of a children's fairy tale actually exists. But your testimony doesn't conflict with any of the Navy's reports so far. Yeah. Though I find it difficult to believe, the reports do not lie. And I admit you have been cooperative these past few days. 
Is that what you hoped I would say? Lies or truth, there's no doubt your so-called adventures have major repercussions. And you're still suspected of being a spy in the Imperial territories. That's not my problem. Anyone would have a hard time believing these stories. I don't even know why I'm the one who has to do this. Guard! Yes, ma'am. Hand inmate 217 over to the Empire to be tried for his other crimes. Take him and go. So they're sending you off? Just like that? I figured you'd already know. There's a rumor about this place. At the end of that corridor, there's a sector where even guards are forbidden. Supposedly, there's a hidden passage there, built when the prison was still a fortress. An emergency escape route, I imagine. I thought you might find it helpful. It's possible it leads out of the prison, but it's a labyrinth down there. There are also rumors of strange creatures prowling the tunnels. Not in the slightest. Rumors like this are the tip of the iceberg. We've only just met, but I already know you're not one to accept fate lying down. I'm sure you'd have gone anyway, with or without my help. After all, you already possess something to pick the lock with, don't you? <laughs> I have my ways. was a pretty neat trick with a fork. I knew you would figure it out. I appreciate what you did in the mess hall. <laughs> I suppose I did. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine here. I've grown rather accustomed to these walls. Hurry now. You must leave the prison before the guards catch wind of your escape. I hope that one day we'll meet again. <laughs> 